A very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all. From his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the blue Caribbean Sea. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I come to you in no other name, but in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, and the Bible, the original King James Bible, which is the word of God from Genesis to Revelation. I come today to discuss with you all a very important topic. I never say that no one is not topi talking about the topic. And I, I'm not saying that no one have not discussed about the topic in the past. And I'm not saying that currently no one is talking about it. But I have come to the fore to discuss about it. And what is this topic? about the children the children who have died at a very tender age innocently without knowing good and evil adding to that the children who have been offered up in sacrifice to idols and different gods amongst the heathen gentile nation and the little children that are being offered up in sacrifice in secret societies today and in cults and secret societies. I come to the fore to raise that issue and to discuss it in its proper context, ladies and gentlemen. So let us begin. I want to draw you to this very important topic. For instance, in the scriptures, I start from the Bible, right? In the scriptures, for instance, in the book, especially when the children of Israel came out of the land, when they spent 430 years in Egypt, and they came out of the land of Egypt, besides the 40 years in the wilderness, I am more dealing when they entered the land of Canaan with Joshua and Caleb, and the different tribes are to go and fight the different I mean, the tribes of Israel was to go and fight the different tribes that were in the land of Canaan, the Canaanite people, to possess the land for them to split it up amongst the children of Israel so that each tribe will get the inheritance, except the tribe of Levite. Any case, but Levites still get um, suburbs to dwell in amongst all the other tribes. Okay, you read that in the book of, you read that in the Old Testament. So I want you all to follow up that. You all will recall, as I have recall and reminiscing and remember. I love to have that photographic memory. I just hope it, it is being sharpened each day so I could recall what I need to be to recall and remember it crystal clear. Now, you all will read in the Bible text like where God told Joshua. Go and kill out everybody in this tribe. Kill man, woman, children, and even the animals. When God sent, now the people who God sent in to kill Joshua, did he hear them? Remember, he himself created these people. Eh? But remember, he given a command to his faithful servant Joshua and it, to go and kill them out. And kill the little children. These little children, there was a lot of babies that babies that the mother now bring forth nursing, and plus two, three years, did they know good and evil? And God know that. Did they never sin? God know that. Of course, they're born in sin and iniquity, iniquity, but I mean, they never did it practically like stealing, killing, murdering, because they're, they're still playing with marbles. And plus the little the babies are the women and them nursing. Who doesn't know good and evil? But Joshua and his army was to kill all of them, kill out everybody, even the animal, with the edge of the sword. And the text say, leave nothing breeding. Nothing to breed, which means kill everybody. These little children, did God create them? Yes. Did God love them? Yes. Were they created for a purpose? Yes. So then if God told Joshua to and the, the army to kill all the little children. 
It means when they were born into the world, keep in mind they were born for a purpose and they didn't come here by accident and chance. But when God tell Joshua and Joshua and the army went and killed the little children and all of them, this who still sucking the mother milk, those all two, three years on the, who there's no good and evil, did they accomplish the purpose when they came in the world? No. But yet they were slaughtered and killed by the command of God. I asked the question, did God sin when he did that? No, because he is God. Because he created them very people. So all the people that Joshua and the army went and killed the mother, the father, the old people, the young people, even all the animals and the little children, the, the child, all the little children, thousand of them is only six, only a few days old and sucking the mother milk and those that are two and three years and kill them out. Did God say no? Because he created these people. He of himself created them for a purpose. But at that age, these little children didn't fulfill the purpose. Of course not. But only create them for a purpose. Eh? Are you all saying that these children that God told Joshua and Zami to kill out, he bring them here by their chance and accident? They still live for that few at a time and then slaughter? The answer is no. What is this little Christian boy getting at? I will tell you all where I am getting at and where I'm going with this and where we will end up at. But I can't tell every, all you all everything in this video. Uh -huh. This is the initial starting in this series. So they slaughter the people. All you will read also further up. We God tell Joshua and the children of Israel to go in that tongue. Kill woman. No, that's only kill the men. Kill out all the men. Leave the 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 women and the children and the animals. You see? Right? You understand? But on the first part where you kill out everybody, woman, man, children, animals, or little babies, everything. All right. So I stop up today, right? Let us add with animals. You know, the children of Israel began offering up their children, the babies, and sacrifice the idols. That was wrong because they copied that from the Gentile nations. And they, they was in the valley of Henon offering up the children to the idols, throwing the children and the babies in sacrifice to the idols and killing the children, committing murder. But God said, These children are born unto me because He made them. Yes, but the children down in Joshua time that he sent to kill, they was born unto he too. He make them the same way too. Because who is the one who making human beings God? But these children that Joshua went and killed out did not achieve the purpose. The children of Israel with the babies threw it in the fire. They did not achieve the purpose the same way as the children that Joshua killed out. The little children. Am I going correct? Yes. Who created all these children? God the creator. And the children that Joshua killed, the little babies, they didn't come here by accident or chance. Neither the children that the Israelites were throwing in the fire and sacrificing unto the different gods, they didn't come by accident and chance. Neither. But the same Holy One of Israel created all these children because he is creating human beings into the world. Am I going correct? Let us travel on that road. So these both set of children did not accomplish the purpose. Because God said, neither did I command the children to do that, neither came it into my mind. Because God never approved human sacrifice. Right, so what the children of Israel was doing was wrong, and that was abomination sin in the eyes of God. Today it continued through, throughout the century, but in secret societies, like the lodges, and the restitution, and through occultism, and through Satanism and cults, they sacrifice human beings and even baby sacrifice in different cults and secret societies all over the world. What they're doing is wrong. They are sacrificing and killing the babies. It have continued, never stopped. Now, you always say, 
where am I getting at? I am saying that all these babies that Joshua and the army kill out, and all the babies that the children of Israel sacrifice in the fire, the gods, and also the Gentile nations also offering up the little babies in fire too, to the different idols too. Because remember the children of Israel copy the city Gentiles doing that nation and practice that. So you mean the heathens was doing that before the children of Israel. The Israel copy that way of life. I mean not that that um that abominable way of life and practice from the Gentile nation and they too began practicing it. So you see how much babies these Gentile people slaughter and throw in the fire to the different idols. Gods are the worship and the children, the house of Israel and the house of Judah practice that. And God said it is abomination that is sin because he, that never came into his mind. Neither he, did he command the children of Israel to do that. Neither did he command the Gentile nation to do that. Neither. Right. The point is what I'm getting at. In that what I'm simply telling you all ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm speaking about the children. The children. The children. Who have lost their life in that way and never achieved their purpose remember they did not came into the world by accident and chance the very said god create all these children i'm simply saying in a future resurrection all these children will be redirected and they will fulfill full, 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 the purpose is god contradicting himself no i'm simply saying when god told joshua to go and kill out all the little children who never sin and they know good and evil. God could have given that command and let Joshua do that. In spite the children will not fulfill the purpose in this life, although they was born. You know why? Because God know that in a future he will redirect the said children, that he allowed the children of Israel to kill amongst the Gentile people, redirect them in a future redirection and make them fulfill the purpose. You all who believe that? Well, that is exactly what God what God have planned out and that's what he will accomplish. So by God telling Joshua to go and kill the little children and the children of Israel went and do it, did it? Joshua was not committing no sin and all the soldiers in the army of the Jewish, the children of Israel was not committing no sin killing all these little children because they get the commandment from God. They get that commandment from God who create these little children among the Gentile nation. You see, so they was not committing no sin, and the very people that all the children of Israel killed, the little children among the, the different hidden tribes in the land of Canaan, God will redirect them in a future resurrection, and they will come back alive, and He will make them fulfill the purpose. You all don't think so? Well, I'm teaching you all that, and I'm saying that's exactly what God will do. Well, you all will do I accept that. A lot of you all will criticize God, you know. You all don't understand what God did. So you always say, look, how he, what kind of God is that? Why did he tell Joshua to save the little children and kill the big people? No, but God said kill everybody. Ah, uh, all it never think about that. And a lot of preachers is even ignorant of that and can't even explain that. But I am not ignorant of it. Thank God I have the knowledge of it. And God has shown me it. And that's why I'm sharing it with you all. He will redirect all these children in the future and they will fulfill the purpose. And all the children that is being sacrificed in the fire amongst the heathen gentle nation, they too will be redirected and, and um, be saved. And all the children that the, is the, the children, the house of Israel and the house of Judah, sacrificed in the fire and did not achieve the purpose, they too will be redirected, come back alive and be saved. Because God said, These children were born unto me. They were created unto me. You see, create them, which is true. And none of these children, amongst the Gentiles and amongst the children of Israel, did not come here by accident and chance. All of them have a purpose for God bringing them. But they did not achieve the purpose because the parents sacrificed them and killed them. So then how will they achieve their purpose? It means they will have to be redirected again come back alive for them to achieve the purpose and the only one to do that is God the one who made them originally he's the only one to bring them back out of the grave and make uh, and make them fulfill the purpose but that will happen in a future redirection in the thousand years in the book of revelation we said the sea will be given up the grave I mean the sea will be given up the dead the grave will be given up the dead 
a lot of people doesn't like I know I know the enemy doesn't want me to teach you all this because you know what I'm saying is true mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying is true they will fulfill the purpose in a future resurrection in the future in the great right own judgment resurrection in your book of revelation after the thousand years millennium rule of christ they will come up in that resurrection and god will bring back all these children alive and you will make them fulfill the purpose although do we leave that well well then you all are saying god is not a fear god then you are saying that all these little children that the children of israel sacrifice they will never come back alive to achieve their purpose then you all saying God is not a fair God. So then where God did create them in the first place for? You see? You see? You see? You see? You see what I'm trying to show you? Ah, uh, they didn't come here by accident and chance. So he will rather wreck all these little children. And let me remind you all. Rise as I talking right now. It have an human sacrifice taking place all over the world. Because the people in the different, different cults and secret societies all over Europe and all over the world that sacrificing little babies in the ceremony, occult ceremonies, ceremonies and all these things, killing the little babies, also in the time of Halloween festival that is celebrated all over the world, to offer up animal sacrifice and human sacrifice and child sacrifice too. Mm hmm they go in the hospital and they steal the little, they steal the babies from people and offer it a sacrifice. A woman gone in the grocery, she put the baby here, she turns she back, somebody take the baby and steal it to go and sacrifice it. All these things are taking place. Yes, only I know that. Mm -hmm. Only these babies was born for a purpose. Who created them? God bring them on the earth. Did they come here by accident and chance? No. Now they are sacrificed. The cult leader in the secret society sacrifice the little children and them. God will resurrect these children in the thousand, in the, after the thousand years in the great white throne judgment and bring them back alive for them to fulfill the purpose that they created them originally for. You all know that? You all know accept that? Or you all know that? Well, I'm telling you all that. I am here today talking about the children of the world. Those that were sacrificed among the heathen Gentile nation. Those are the house of Israel sacrificing the fire to the different gods. Those are the house of Judah sacrificing the fire to the different gods and idols. All of them will be resurrected. Those all the little children that Joshua killed. Killed. When God given the commandment to do that, all of them will be resurrected too in a future resurrection. And all those are the children that are being sacrificed right now throughout the century until Jesus Christ come. All of them will be resurrected after the thousand years in the great right own judgment. And they too will come back alive and God will allow them to fulfill the purpose that he created them for. You all know, you, you all know God is a fear God and therefore he will do that and he will bring back all these children alive. You all know accept that, eh? Well, that's a fact of the matter. Either you all hear or forbear. That's the truth of the matter. That's the truth of the matter. Or oh, all you believe only in the resurrection is only people who knew good and evil. Uh -huh. Only the big people God will bring back alive. And all the little children that are dead, he will not bring them back. And I want to add this to the mix because I'm dealing with the children of the world. All the babies that, all the abortion that take place, and all the babies that was in the mother womb. All the babies, yes, that they kill. These babies will come back alive too. God will bring them back alive too. All of them accept that these things, eh? yes, God will bring them back alive, man. All the abortion and all the abortion that taking place. Yes. Well, a lot of you all say Eric Braxton. We can understand the part where you talk first. But this part, we find it too hard to accept. You know why? Because these babies are the gentle sacrifice in the fight that was already born and come out of the womb. And the sacrifice and the, 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 the sacrifice that the, the cults on them. Well, Satan, the cults and things that are sacrificing children after this day, 
these babies come out of the, the mother womb so the baby was already born we can understand that but abortion is different the child is they are now formed like a embryo barrio in the mother womb and it haven't fully developed but the doctor do something and destroy it how can that child be resurrected how would that kind you all are limited god the creator that's all the problem you all have and i want you all to stop having that problem yes the children of israel limit god in the wilderness and god punished them there's no limit on him because he said in the book of isaiah is anything hard for me to do you see me and every man that ever born and come in the world there's so much thing hard for us to do not even abraham isaac and jacob the mount i think was hard for them to do but you see god the creator there's nothing hard for he to do because he possess supreme power all you get the message now yeah keep on getting that message loud and clear loud and clear so it's nothing hard for them to to do yeah so even self the child was killing his mother womb we call it an untimely birth and that was job was telling god to do him that to kill him in his mother womb why should he come out of his mother womb he was telling god why you didn't kill me in my mother womb and be untimely birth i even skipped job was saying the wrong thing there but job wasn't talking wrong against god you know he was talking wrong against his own self but god understand that and god forgive him mm -hmm. because when he was in the mother womb his god had him the job you see but job it seems like job didn't understand that but at lord when he get old he understand that after, after in the old age and he regret what he said in the early part i know that and he also this and also my brother jeremiah he start talking the same negative talk that job was talking oh why god, god did not destroy me my mother womb and why god did not why why i didn't be untimely birth why should i why i came out of my mother womb but jeremiah didn't know that it's god who put him in the mother womb and it's god that created him and bring him for a purpose but i know jeremiah understand that when he come a little older and he regret the negative talk he was talking about himself but jeremiah the prophet just like the prophet like job was not talking bad against god they was talking negative concerning the own self and not against god and god forgive jeremiah and give job because all of them come to the understanding that it's god who created them and put them in the mother womb and took them out after you see i i thank god i was in my mother womb i am not cursing i not i not doing like jeremiah neither like job i thank god i was in my mother womb and i thank god god bring me out of my mother womb Yes, I didn't want to die in my mother womb at all. And I bless the day that I was born. I, Eric Graxon, bless the day that I was born. And I not put in no curse upon the day I was born. You see, you see the difference between Eric Graxon and Jeremiah and Job? But I know they got to find out that later when they get a little older. Mm -hmm. And they thank God they was in their mother womb and they come out safe to see the sun. And there was no untimely birth. They didn't end up as no untimely birth. They did not die in the mother womb. I know Job come to that understanding. My brother Job come to that understanding. Oh, yes, so, yes, so, yes, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I know the prophet Jeremiah, my brother, come to that understanding also. I'm not talking the negative talk that they talk about themselves. You know? I am talking the positive talk about myself. I bless God that I was in my mother womb. i glad that I was no untimely birth. And i glad I come out of my mother womb to see the rising of the sun and the setting of the sun in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So I'm speaking blessing concerning my birth. No, no curses at all. Mm, that's the difference ladies and gentlemen i'm talking today about the children of the world i'm speaking about the children uh, the children the children the children god will save the little children jesus christ loved the little children all the children of the world of all the world right that include gentiles and hebrews and jews all mankind all the little children of the world who oh, red and yellow black and white they are precious in the sight jesus christ love all the little children of the world i know that you all are f well acquainted and well familiar with that song it has been sung in sunday school and of course sabbath school saturday and those who observe sunday it has been sung in saturday school 
those who observe the true Sabbath Saturday and those who observe Sunday as the Sabbath day, not knowing that Saturday is the Sabbath, but thinking that Sunday is the Sabbath because they are misled, they also sing that song, that true song too. Jesus Christ loved the little children, all the children of the world, oh, red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in the sight. Jesus Christ love all the people of the world because it's one human family and in the book of Acts God have made all nations of one blood to dwell upon the earth. So I have Rexham is not supporting white supremacy, neither black supremacy, neither red supremacy, neither yellow supremacy. Mankind, one human family. I'm supporting the supremacy of God because all power belongs unto God. The scriptures say, Power belongs, all power belongs unto God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, to all and sundry. Putting all this information in the public domain and throw the internet so that oh, everybody, all and sundry throughout the world, throughout the international community, will watch this video and accept this very important message that I'm giving to you all. I stand for the little children of the world. I'm speaking about the little children of the world. And what about all the children, ladies and gentlemen, that get slaughtered, that get in accident, a lot of children get in accident. They get bounced down to vehicle. A lot of children go to the beach on a Sunday or, in, or during Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday by the beach or by the rivers in the country and the little children are drunk. They will be redirected in a few tears. What about in different countries where, where civil war is taking place? Where the rebel group or the militia group come in the town and they kill you. They go in the, the village and they, they rape the woman and rape the children and kill the woman and kill the little children. These little children didn't do evil. They didn't know good and evil. They will be resurrected and be saved. I stand in for the little children of the world. And I'm speaking about the little children of the world. What about in plane crash? Plane have that crash and children have get burned up and die. They'll be resurrected and come back alive in the resurrection. What in the sea ships have sink and children have drunk? They too will be resurrected in the future. I'm talking about the children of the world. What about children who have died because of sickness and diseases and never fulfilled the purpose? They never went to school. That little child, Mommy, I would like to become a mechanic. Daddy, I would like to become a pilot. But they never lived to achieve that. And they never went to school to attend the grades, the qualification, to, and, never, and never went through the training to, to become that doctor, to become that lawyer, to become that mechanic, to become that engineer, to become that pilot. To become that scientist, to become that doctor, to become that lawyer, to become that president, to become that prime minister. Did they achieve it? No, they die at a tender age. Did they come here by chance and accident? No. Who created them and who bring them? God the creator. For what? A purpose. Right? Therefore, since they die and they did not fulfill that purpose, do you all think that the God who created them and bring them into existence, do you think that he want them to fulfill that purpose? And therefore, if he want them to bring to fulfill that purpose, therefore, since they're dead, unfortunately, before their time, what the creator will do, he will redirect them and bring them back alive to achieve the purpose. Do you all understand it now? Who is the one to do that? God, and that's exactly what he will do in the great right throne judgment. Read it in the book of Revelation. Ladies and gentlemen, read it in the book of Revelation. He will bring back for the literature and to achieve their purpose. Mm -hmm. To achieve their purpose. In other words, what I'm telling you all, God is a fear God. So, so you're thinking you need the resurrection, God will be resurrecting big people. Well, big people will resurrect and resurrect and all the children who die, well, he'll leave them there, he won't resurrect them at all. Oh my God, all they have it wrong. Did he create them for a purpose? Yes, and he bring them for a purpose? Yes. Did they create, come here by accident and chance? No. Did they ask God to bring them here? No. He bring them here. But you see what happened to them? And right now the little children of the world are being killed. Uh -huh. People are raping little children and killing them. It, 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 
for instance, Boko Haram, monk children Boko Haram kill before the leader um, Abul, I mean Akubaka, Shikhal or whatever, blow up himself and kill himself because ISIS, ISIS more powerful than he, and they corner him in the bush and tell him it's time for Boko Haram to go now. We in charge now, no? me more radical than you, no? he don't want to surrender to them, so they shoot him and kill him, and yeah, he blow up himself. But when he was alive, nearly 10,000 people um, Boko Haram killed in Nigeria, you know? and, and about more than 100,000 people replaced you know? when I mean out of the village and town, they went to another place to live because of safety. You see, now ISIS now in, in Nigeria. What about all the children Boko Haram killed? You see, God will redirect them back again. I'm talking about the children of the world. I'm talking about the children of the world who have died in all these states. And, and children each day is, little children each day is dying from diseases and sicknesses. You understand? But before they die, I want to be the teacher. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a mechanic. Did they achieve the lift? They achieve that? No, they die. Will they achieve that in the, in the future? They only want to bring them back alive for them to achieve the goals. Or the goal that God wants them to achieve is God. And therefore he will redirect back all the little children. Right? 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 What in for instance in the days of the flood with Noah? All you think is only little only big people die in the flood. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh Lord, Lord, Lord. All our all the all the all the people all over the world. Who think it's only big people die in the flood in the days I know yet, no. All they have it wrong. It's little children die too. Why did not God save the little children in the flood and only cause the big people to die? No, and they die too. Who he save? Only Noah, eight person. You see? All these children who die in the flood, they will be resurrected again. Did they came in the time of Noah? God bring these children by chance and accident? No. Did he create them for a purpose too? Yes. Did they achieve that purpose? No. On the jungle in the flood? Ah. Do God want them to achieve a purpose? They... So therefore, since they didn't achieve the purpose, but they die, unfortunately, because the parents did not repent, and the children get drunk in the flood, unoriginally create them for a purpose, for them to fulfill the purpose. On easy one to redirect them, bring them alive, and show them the purpose you want them to achieve. Ha ha ha. That's God himself will do that. You see, I'm standing for the little children of the world in the past history, in the current history, and in modern history, in modern times to come, before Jesus Christ comes. I'm standing, I'm talking about the little children of the world. Mm -hmm. The little children of the world mm -hmm. who have died in all these circumstances. God will bring them back alive and save them for his honor and for his glory. Yes, for his honor and his glory, ladies and gentlemen. And therefore, I am sitting and discussing these things with you all. And drawing you all to attention so that you will understand the scriptures. Because a lot of people don't understand the scriptures. They will read that where God tells Joshua to kill all the little, everybody. And say, well, wait a minute. These little children are innocent. You're killing the mother. You're killing the father. You and the little children. Like God doesn't like little children. I thought he created them for a purpose. But if he killed them, they will not achieve the purpose. So then God is contradicting himself. Uh, I, could, I draw the example to show you all there is no contradiction. Ah, uh, There is no contradiction. Because God will redirect them in a future and make them accomplish the purpose that he created them for. But a lot of people who don't understand that will read it and say and see it like a contradiction and say God is an unjust God when God is no unjust God. And they will find the Bible is contradicting itself. The Bible is not contradicting itself. You see, you have to understand it. And therefore, I'm sharing it with you all. See what I'm trying to show you? And a lot of people out there who is opposed to what I said will like what I'm teaching you all and telling you all that. I know that. Mm -hmm. See? You see? I'm telling you all. You see? You see? You see? 
because I'm standing for the little children who have died in the past. God himself have given command to kill those who were sacrificed and those who are still sacrificed that the heathen nation sacrificed the idols those are the house of Israel sacrificed the idols the house of Judah sacrificed the idols which is wrong and those are people still sacrificing up to this day the little children is wrong God will bring back all of them alive and the abortion, look, the abortion of no, no. Each day, right now, as I'm talking, women committing abortion. All these babies that they killed in the womb and outside the womb will be, will be, will be resurrected. Well, all do I, a lot you, you, a lot of you all who do accept what I say. It well, that is in the hands of God. Is in my hands. I can resurrect nobody. God is the one to do that, not me. Not me. Who you think doing that? Is God doing that? Is I creating human beings? No, it's the Holy One of Israel. God the Father, Jesus Christ created human beings. Therefore, he's the one who will be bringing, back the, bringing all of them back alive. You all do accept that. Well, read, it, read, the, book of, read the book of Ezekiel. But God talk, telling Ezekiel about the dry bones. And telling Ezekiel to prophesy to the dry bones. And he will put life and sinew and breath coming out of the grave. Is I doing that? No, is God doing that? Uh huh. Yeah, only thing that only big people coming out of the grave. They that be for the people, little children who die down there too, coming out of the grave. Yes, I standing for the little children of the world, and I'm dressing this topic about the little children of the world. Those who have died. Eh? Eh? For instance, in Afghanistan, just recently, before the Mer American pull out of the Kabul airport. Two three days before the handover to the Taliban, one of the ISIS, one of the ISIS terrorist guy, the ISIS terrorist network, one of the fighters penetrate the security and blow up, kill ten American servicemen, soldiers, young fellas who now join the, the 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 military, and first time service in Afghanistan, kill eight, ten American soldiers and one hundred and fifty. 200 and nearly 100 and something or 200 something Afghanistan civilians would get killed. A lot of children get killed in that. Get killed in that. You see? They blow up. They will be redirected too and come back alive. So you see? I'm speaking about all the children of the world. Yes? 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 All the children of the world and all nations of the earth. Children who are dying from sickness. Oh yes, what about the children within the Horn of Africa? Oh, I forget that, boy. Thank God I remember. The Horn of Africa. That Horn of Africa. When you hear about the Horn of Africa, they are talking about the malnutrition, the lack of food and famine and drought in Africa, like Ethiopia, Somalia, and these poor countries. You know how much children have died from hunger in the past? But these children did not achieve their purpose. I talk about children all two, three years. Millions of them have died. Thousands of them. They will be resurrected. But when they was alive. Hmm? Hmm? On the here the brother was a doctor. They want to be a doctor. On the here the brother was a teacher. Or the sister was a centrist. Did they achieve that? Live to achieve that? No. They die. So they didn't achieve the purpose. Were they here by chance and accident? No, they were here for a purpose because because of man trash, malnutrition and shortage of food and drought and lack of rain and food. They die. Will they be redirected again and come back alive? And God will allow them to achieve that purpose that He created them for. The answer is yes. You see. And apply that over the board in all nations of the earth. In whatever situation the little children die in, in each country of the earth, God will bring back the children in the resurrection, in the great resurrection that is mentioned in the book of Revelation, the great righteous judgment. And God will allow the little children of that die to, 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 to achieve the purpose. He's the only one to do it. Who else could do it? Who else could do it? Only God himself could do that, ladies and gentlemen. 
we need God himself alone to do that. But remember in the resurrection is big people, old people coming up too. And these little children. But in this video I'm more talking about the little children. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people have ruled them out. And say, you know, people, they, the thinking is only in the resurrection. Big people will come back alive. People who do wrong, good and evil. And who know right and wrong. Them is the only one who will come back alive. But them let the children, they will, God not bringing them back alive. You all have it wrong. Yes, I, Eric Braxton, is saying that. You all have it wrong. I, Eric Braxton, and you, Mr. Preacher. You, Mr. Pastor. You, Mr. Deacon. You, Mr. Elder. You, Mr. Prophet. And you, Mr. Apostle. Who saying, I... What I'm teaching the people about the literature and is, is coming back. It's not coming back. You two, you all have it wrong also. Yes, you Mr. Pastor, you Mr. Deacon, you Mr. Elder. All of you all are my brothers and sisters in, in, in Christ. But you you all who only saying that that since they know they, they know since they didn't um it's only the people who commit gun and evil, God will resurrect. But these other people, the little babies, not I'm not saying all of you all. Eh? No, you know, I should recall that. I think you all should agree with me. Because you all will say, well, wait now. The little children and them was innocent. So since they didn't go good and evil, God will resurrect them. So you all support me with that? I'm not attacking none of you all, but you all support that. Well, if you all support that and agree with that, you all are, you all understand. You all understand what I'm saying. So, so then I shouldn't really apply it to the to the Christians. It's really to the people who is out there, who is nothing, who do not accept Christ, and who are ignorant of what I'm teaching. And who are saying ignorantly. Well, some people believe that it has no resurrection. They have it wrong also. They have it wrong also. Any case, I'm going to say something, but um, I'll stop for that. Um, I, when I when I clear, when I get it clear, I'll talk about it in, in the next video to come. So let me continue in this trend. I'll be ending the video now in a little while. Yes, so 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 I'm talking about the little children of the world who die in all these circumstances, in all the nations of the earth, and continue to die in these circumstances all over the world because these 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 events still taking place. You understand? A, a, a little girl is going to school. She about to cross the road and a car bong she. You see, she die. She will be resurrected and come back alive. A little boy is crossing the road a car bouncing and killing. You understand? Two bandits go on and rob up Ghost Street and they come out. The security officer is shooting at them and they are shooting back at the security. Little children are passing from school and they get killed. You see? They will be resurrected. They will come back alive. I'm talking about the children of the world who are dying, dying in all these circumstances. And also, but sad to say, even parents that kill the children, even though the parents are killing the little children. You all doesn't hear, ladies and gentlemen. I know it, but I'll still mention it. To you. you all well know. And even in my country, you will read in the papers where a man where a man and his wife have fall out. A man and his wife, domestic violence, domestic problem between husband and wife. And the woman have now bring forth as a child, two years old. And because the husband had a problem with the wife and she threatened him to divorce him, he killed she and he killed the baby also. But let us know that. Yes, happening. That lady, that baby will come back alive. Family dispute. They call it domestic violence. I know you all know about these things. Yeah, yeah, pretty. Yeah. Pretty, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
the sea, they will come back alive. Mm -hmm. All his literature and who have died in these circumstances okay. will come back alive. Yes, yes, yes. They'll come back alive and God will bring them back alive. You see, God will bring them alive, back alive. He will bring back the children alive for his honor and his glory. I hope I cover everything in this video. I doubt I have to make a part two or part three. I doubt that. Because I'm speaking about all the literature of the world. So you know when I talk about every literature and that means children everywhere, all over the world, or whatsoever it's um situation that die through sickness, through disease, whether drowning, accident, plane crash, the ship sink and they die under the water, all of them will come back. Those and in the sacrifice who the sacrificed in the past and all will come back alive. And all the babies who die in the mother who untimely birth, and all the abortion that is taking place all over the world. The mothers are licensing abortion and people who committing abortion illegally. The state doesn't, doesn't sanction it, but they're committing it to private hospitals and doctors, the abortionists, doctors who are committing the abortion. Be for pro-life. You see, all these children will come back alive. And the only one to bring them back alive is God. So that's the fact of the matter. So I hope I cover everything in this video. Because when I talk about all the countries that the world have been everybody, all the countries that the world, all the nations, and in all countries that the world literature and are dying, in all sorts of situations. So I hope I cover that. And when I talk, when I say one country, for instance, the whole of China, children are dying, they, uh, in all sorts of situations. Well, come to China and apply to all the rest of the countries. So I cover the whole world with all the literature and dying in all sorts of situations. God will bring them back alive. You see? He'll bring them back alive. He'll bring them back alive. Yes. He'll bring them back alive. Mm -hmm. He'll bring them back alive. He'll bring them back alive. So, he'll bring them back alive. But I hope you all understand the part where I talk about Joshua. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So Joshua wasn't doing anything wrong and the children was doing anything wrong. And by God telling the children of Israel to go and kill man, woman, children, the babies, everybody, God was not doing anything wrong neither. Because he created all them people. All them people that Joshua went and killed, God created them and bring them in this earth. And they then came upon the earth neither by chance or accident. God created them for a purpose. But look, God, God telling Joshua to go and wipe out all of them. Is God contradicting himself? No. God have a plan. He know. In spite of the children will get killed. He, he know. He's the one to bring them back alive in a future direction. So God is not contradicting himself there. You see? You only understand it now? And this is what I'm sharing with you all. And I'm teaching you all that facts. God will bring them back in a redirection. These letter churn will bring them back in a redirection. He will bring them back in a redirection. Because these children was innocent. And all the children that God was telling in the house of Israel and the house of Judah. And then I in I end in the I in the video now, but I want to teach you all, show you all something. Here what God tell the house of Israel. The house of Israel and the house of Judah. All the children that all are off up in the fire to all the gods, they was born unto me. Yeah, but all the children that God tell Joshua to go and kill, they was born unto he the same way too, because he created them. He's the creator God. You see, he's the one who created a human being. Uh-huh. All of them was born unto he too, because he created them. Uh-huh. You see? But only tell only telling the house of Israel all the sacrifice, all the children unto the gods. Which thing I commanded not in your came, came it unto my mind. Only was telling the house of Israel all they did something wrong and it is abomination sin? Yes. But when he tell Joshua to go and kill the children, 
Joshua was not committing abomination sin. No, because God gave him the command to kill the little children. Because God created little children. God, God could do that because you see, he's the creator. He gave life and take life. So he was telling Joshua in a sense, I explaining it now by the power of God and by the words of God. God was telling Joshua in a sense, I create these children, Joshua, and I'm giving you the, the, the commandment to kill them and obey my word and kill the literature and everybody. God never tell Joshua, I will redirect these children in a future. But God is saying, in spite I tell you to kill these children because I make them and kill them, I, God, will redirect them in the future and bring them back alive. But at this time, kill them. So God is not contradicting himself. You see? You see what I'm trying to show you? Because Joshua got a command from the Creator God. But the children of Israel who was offering up the, 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 the children to the idols, God never command them that, to do that. And he of himself said that. Neither did I command the children of Israel to do that. Neither came it into my mind. You see? They was doing the wrong thing. You see? You see? That is the difference. But when God told Joshua to kill the little children, that was a command come from God, and that came from the mind of God to Joshua, kill the little children. You see? You see? God, God tell Joshua to kill the little children because that came from the mind of God, and God commanded Joshua to do it. So all the children of Israel who kill the little children from the different tribes, none of them are commit no murder, and none of them do anything wrong. You see? But all the children, but the house of Israel, who sacrifice all the children unto the idols, all of them commit murder. And the house of Judah, that sacrifice all the little children in the fire to the idols, all of them commit murder. And that's why God tell them, all, all your hand is blood on all your hand. All the, all the children, blood is all in all your hand. That's what God told them in the book of Isaiah. God told the children of Israel, the house of Israel, all the children that all you kill and murder, their blood is on all their hands. And God told the house of Judah, all the children, all the sacrifice to the idols in the valley of Anon, the blood of all the children is on their hands. He's saying all these are a bunch of murderers. That we told them. That we telling them in a sense. Because he said, I never command you all to do that. Never came it into my mind. But all this, but all you have forsaken me. The Holy One of Israel, and you all have gone after the heathen Gentile nation and practicing their customs. And you all see them so, uh, worshiping idols, all the worshiping, the worshiping idols like them. All you see the, the heathen people taking the children and throwing it in the fire, the different gods, all they start copying that and doing that too. So he told them that to their face, the house of Israel and the house of Judah. And he, therefore he called all these things abomination sins, wickedness, evil sins, abominations in the sight. And therefore he punished the house of Israel, the ten tribes, and sent them into captivity to the west, east, eastern and western Europe. And therefore, a little while after, he removed the house of Judah with Nebuchadnezzar, as you read it, and used Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, the first world ruler, to invade the land of Judah and to take the Jews out of, out of Jerusalem and send them for 70 years in captivity into Babylon because of all these abominations since they was doing Read it in the scriptures for yourself. First Kings, Second Kings, First Chronicles, Second Chronicles, in the book of Isaiah, in the book of Ezekiel, in the book of Jeremiah, show the scriptures. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. You see? You see? You see? You see? You see? You see? I'm talking about the children, huh? the children, the children, the children, the children, the children of the nations of the earth in the past past history currently and in the coming years to come before Jesus Christ return back to this earth but the children have been facing what the children have been going through in all the different situations that they face in all the nations of the earth and the continue to face in all the nations of the earth amongst mankind amongst humanity in the human family mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I hope that I hope I hope that you all will understand what I'm saying. And don't take my word for it. Read it for yourself in the Bible. Take the dust, take the Bible and blow the dust off it and begin reading it. And you all will see what I say 
you all understand what I see is true and it's right in the Bible. But people, millions and millions and millions of people are ignorant to, to what I just said because a lot of them never even, never even read the Bible. So how do, how do you expect them to know these things? You have to read the book to know what the book says. Hmm? Yeah, and they are ignorant of it. And then our people have different doctrines. Different doctrines and different religions. And these doctrines teach something different to what the Bible says. So how do we know that? When you only find that in one book, the Bible, when these other books is to have that. So how do you expect the people in the other uh, religion to know that? They will be ignorant of what the Bible says. That's the facts of the matter. Because what I just explained you there is not in the Quran. No? And it's not in these other books. But only find that in the scriptures mention these things. Understand, understand. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have to bring the curtain down on this video. And I just hope that, um, I hope it should not be the last that I will discuss about this topic. You understand? And I think, and let me say, let me, let me um, say one time. I think it will be, have a, I will have to ex have an extension on this video to, to talk about this matter, about the children, about the children of the world. In many other aspects about the children of the world, about the suffering of the children of the world, about what taking place in other nations of the earth, with the children, and all these things. So this video will not be the last where I'm talking about the children. Mm -hmm. Children, I need to talk about the children, yes, the children of the world. The children. As I said, the future generation. Yes, the future generation. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes, in order name but in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I just pray and hope that you all will comprehend everything I say and that you all understand what I say and have a clear cut understanding of what I have taught you all by you all picking up the Bible and reading it from Genesis to Revelation. That's the only how you all, all understand what I'm saying. The original Bible, the King James Version. Read it for yourself. And listen to this video. That's what watch this video one and pack it once and pack it up on the shelf to fully understand and comprehend what I've taught you all you all need to do, watch this video about more than five times yes about five or ten times to fully comprehend what I've said you know in the scriptures what I've said in this video and start reading the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation yes read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation Continue reading it from Genesis to Revelation. And may God help you all to come to that understanding. No other name. In the shortest possible time. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. 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 Oh yes, oh yes. God will save the children of the world. All the children who have died in the past of all sorts of situation, all sorts of evil and wickedness and injustices that took place to the little children of the world in the past history, in ancient times, in the time of antiquity, in medieval times. The next, the next word again, before the ancient times. In the old land days, in the old land times. And in modern and throughout the century, and of course in modern civilization, the time we are living, oh, the children are facing all sorts of terrible situations are taking, happening to the children in all the nations of the earth. God will save the little children of the world. And I had this song by, in this video by singing that song about the children. Let's sing. Can you all sing it with me? Sing it with me. My brothers and sisters out there, in YouTube land and all over the world. Jesus Christ loved the little children, all the children of the world, who oh, red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in the sight. Jesus Christ loved the little children of the world. Amen and amen. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye-bye, my friend. Shalom, peace.